Hey, how's it going, guys? Today I've got the Umi Digi Bison GT2 Pro 5G. I, I kind of hate that name because it's so long. But besides the name, I've had this for a little while now, not too long actually. And I use this as my daily driver for a bit. I stopped using it as my daily driver a week ago, mainly because I'm I'm so used to the Apple ecosystem. I mean, I'm recording with my iPhone right now, and plus I've got all the apps and contacts there. So I just decided I'm gonna stick with that for now. Well, anyways, this has held up really well. Um, battery life on this did not seem to be so great for a rugged smartphone. This is actually the worst battery life I've seen on a rugged smartphone so far, based on like the, the four different ones I've tested out, because they normally got like a couple of days worth maybe like four or five days of on, not on screen time, but four or five days of total use. And this one uh, only got, I wanna say about two days worth, 48 hours total before it was at like 3% and then I had to recharge it. The one thing is I didn't use, I did not use battery saver, I never turned it on. So that'll make it last, last a little longer. And then the other thing that I wish I could show you is how long uh, the the on-screen time was unfortunately it doesn't show it anywhere on here uh, Umi Digi kind of restricts that on their version of Android here and this is running Android 11 by the way I don't expect there to be any updates or security updates actually I'm not sure if there was a security update but anyways usually these type of off-brand smartphones won't get updates anywhere so you're kind of stuck with whatever this is so if you're fine with that then it's worth picking up the other downside was just watching videos at 480p was just kind of ridiculous. I don't like that idea. I think all smartphones should have widevine level of L1 um, because this is a beautiful 1080p screen or 1080p plus, whatever you want to call it. And then it's just stuck at 480. It's just not as enjoyable. And the other thing is that the battery or the camera, not the battery or camera, but the speaker is absolutely awful down here. I don't know why they put a small speaker on this great smartphone. Like, why cheap out on this? You might as well go all out. Or at least have it in the front. That would have been nice. So, there's that. And then the camera was okay. Nothing too crazy. So, yeah, but besides that, performance has been excellent. I haven't had any issues whatsoever in delays or whatnot. So, in terms of performance, this is amazing. This is the best rugged smartphone. Uh, this is the best performance I've seen on a rugged smartphone, actually, to be more specific. And besides that, I really have no complaints. I guess the only thing I would say to watch out for is some people do complain about certain issues or bugs that they have. And you might get that, you might not, but I've noticed it occurring a little more on, on these phones. But that's kind of like a, I really can't say for sure how often you'll, you'll feel that. I haven't had any issues with mine specifically, so it's gonna be just fine. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Is there a better smartphone out there, a better rugged uh, smartphone at this price range? I'd love to hear it. But besides that, this is going to be my go-to that I'd highly recommend. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy this video and subscribe for more. As always, thanks for watching.